The origins of Druidism are something of a mystery, really. The answer is not readily discernible. The various historical allegations of Druids are perhaps the most disagreed upon aspect of the system. Uh, it's through the theory of a lost civilization known as Atlantis that we believe the Druids have emerged onto the European mainland, but this is not provable or disprovable yet. My personal and historical evidence seems to point to the Mediterranean Mesopotamian region um, and that tradition as an origin, but that is my theory alone, and there's more information on that already at the Merlin Stone channel on YouTube. Prehistoric Druidism is approximately 12,000 years old, and since that, it's the time when Atlantis fell, the last ice age, we seem to have a lot of esoteric lore about self-destruction. Um, there are several different races of invaders appearing in the archaic Celtic mythos. The invasions are said to have begun circa 10,000 BC um, by the Nemedians, the sons of the sun, and then the Fomorians, the people of the sea, and then the Firbald, the men of dark earth, and finally the Tuatha Dé Anann, the white children of honor, who most significantly shaped the face of Druidism, the latter. Um, it is important to note that Druidology is historically rooted in a lost civilization. It is therefore wise to be generally open-minded to the possibilities. Our egotism can keep us from learning some incredibly fascinating insights if simply because we cannot admit to ourselves the possibility of living in the shadows of a civilization once more powerful and more advanced than where we currently are. If we are to admit that a technologically sophisticated culture was able to sufficiently annihilate itself, then we have to examine our own motives in the current techno-industrial mechanistic worldview. And essentially, I think that is, if nothing else, what the modern druid kind of should identify with. Um, the theory is that society is solely driven on external technologies will continually fall. The hypothesis is that when the technology that drives a civilization is being abused, destruction will ensue. Um, with this knowledge, the Druids realize that the internal technologies of the mind and spirit should be focused on, which will lead to both improved livelihood and happier living for one and the whole community that participates in such a transcendental utopian lifestyle. This, this latter idea of, of utopian druidry and a civilization based thereupon is what we call the driving force behind Kelsha or the Celtic lands.